Thistle. Okay, where is Thistle? I have to find some Thistle. I need Thistle for the review. Why is there no Thistle anywhere? Where the fuck is Thistle? Oh my god, is this? Can this be? Ah! This video is sponsored by Aniba.com, a fairly new online marketplace where you can get game keys and gift cards for PC, Xbox, PSN, Nintendo and much more. Check out the fantastic weekly deals with up to 70% off. Use the code ICARI during the registration to get another 3% off of every purchase. And have a fun time gaming. Hello and welcome to Skyrim shitty retextures and more. No, seriously, lately it's been really hard scrapping together good new mods to make an at least halfway decent review, for both cases, Skyrim and Fallout 4. But here we go. The first mod is not a shitty retexture, but yeah, let me present to you the most endorsed mod of the last month. See? See what's happening to the modding community? Great, isn't it? The next mod is still not a retexture, but almost. Meridia's Luxon Beacon Replacer by Artsick. Yeah, because you all apparently love this quest so much. Seriously, those dim-witted nibbas on Facebook are still posting it. Oh no, I found Meridia's beacon, my life is over. Hugh Hugh South, please. But now we absolutely arrive at the peak of modding. Thistle by Mary. Yes, there it is, the retexture we all have been waiting for. Now we can finally zoom in on our thistles without any worries and just enjoy the colorful perfection. It's like you don't even need to play the game anymore, just stare at the thistle. But next we are going to change the very essence of the presentation of this game. I have been using the My Diary menus for a while now and I am quite satisfied with it. But here is a nice alternative by El Sopa. The Adventurer theme by El Sopa. It has a somewhat oblivion-esque style overall. I have reviewed small parts of it, so to say, earlier, or you could say early attempts. But this here is a full conversion featuring really every in-game menu with a format customizer as well. Okay, before we check out some new weapons, there is a little monster problem we have to take care of. First of all, there are some giant scorpions by Mihail. Oh shit guys, giant scorpions. Is this shit again, I think? The worlds are melting! Well, let's hope they are not radioactive. And then there are... yeah, ghouls. See? I knew it. Crossover confirmed. I can't wait to craft a Dragonbone Plasma Rifle. Okay, before any death claws show up, we should really bolster our armories. Armand's Family Sword by Crazy Lion. This is a replacer for one of the vanilla weapons to make it more unique. And since there was only one new weapon, I decided to add one more from my to review list. Dragonbone Claymore by O. A huge badass greatsword with a very unique scabbard. 
If the dust clouds do show up, I'll hit them with this. Okay, as a display helper I chose Kathleen by Theo Morin this time. You can get her as a standalone follower or as a replacer for Elizabeth. And the first armor is Daughter of the Sea armor by Deserter X and Dianka33. Well, I already said R once, so you should figure out the rest yourself. The next one is Imperial Centurion Battle Dress by Shaig. The description says it's a lore-friendly skimpy armor. Does anybody have a lexicon in reach? I'm not sure those two words are allowed to be used in the same sentence. The next one is kinda less lore-friendly, unless you say it's magic or something. Glade Fairy by the Dedrick Doll and Aranas23. Yeah, I'm gonna put some flower in your eye. And the last armor is Witch King Armory by Chukaku. The armor for those who want to be taken seriously. It comes with many badass helmet options and also an equally badass shield and sword. Okay, I'm looking extremely serious and prepared, but so far no death claws showed up, so let's go do some exploration for now. I heard the blue palace just got renovated by Drangen. Hmm, this looks like a serious upgrade to both exteriors and interiors. Now it really looks like a palace worthy of kings. You know what? I have decided. If we want to be taken seriously, we also need to have a badass fitting place as our base of operations. And I think I know just the place. Skyramas by Sky Hooper. Just looking at this place gives you a feel of confidence, doesn't it? Look at all the skulls. With such expressive decorations everybody will instantly see that we are being dead serious. Get it? Dead because of the... Uh, yeah. There is, for example, the throne room, full of skulls. Then there is a dining room, full of skulls. Then... I think you get the idea. Besides, there are also a bunch of necromantic spell books hidden around this place. So I think nobody will mess with us, that's for sure. And this is it for this episode. The links to all mods are as always in the description below. Don't forget to endorse the mods you like. And if you like being taken seriously, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Best new Skyrim mods. I thank you all for watching and see you around.